Hey, it's Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're talking the best boat snacks to take out with you on the water. This is sponsored by the best boat captain on the water, bestboatcaptainonthewater.com. So the very first one, one of my favorites to pack is a nice stick of summer sausage and some crackers, some Ritz. I really like the townhouse crackers, kind of that buttery taste. Uh, and my wife loves to have the cheese cut up, put them in plastic baggies, and you've got a great little snack out on the water. Next, we have my mom created this recipe. I don't know where she got it of the super, super fresh salsa. I'll give you the recipe real quick. It is a can or two of Rotel tomatoes. Go with whatever spice level you want. Original, mild, or medium, I think. A can of show peg corn, a can of rinsed black beans. Chop up some green onion or some red onion, whichever you prefer. Uh, chop up some cilantro and mix it all together. And then when you're all done, put just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or two of um, zesty Italian dressing and mix that all around. It kind of coats it, keeps it nice and fresh. It's a delicious snack. Get you some tortilla chips. The, I like the scoops on the boat because you can get a big old scoop in without spilling too much. And we will go through a bowl of that in a second. It comes out of the cooler and it is gone 10 minutes later. It's delicious. It's fresh. It's good for you. And it's a great boat snack. Next is something a little bit different. This is a um, roasted peanuts and candy corns. Now, you may be like, that is ridiculously disgusting, but it actually, it tastes like the salted caramel nut roll. If you've ever had one of those and you'll enjoy that, you'll love this little snack. Sweet, salty, uh, and something different. Grapes, to me, grapes are an easy one. You throw them in the cooler, you wash them off. You've got not only a good snack, um, but you've got a fun little toy. You can throw them to people in the water. Uh, they can catch them. All sorts of different things you can do with grapes that involves throwing them at people. Uh, but I do encourage you leave the leave the purple ones at home. Go with the red or the green sandwiches. We love packing sandwiches because we love to stay out on the water well into the evening. Um, and we don't always have a, a restaurant on the lake, but you put some sandwiches. Everybody, for me, I like to just make them at home. Everybody makes their sandwich that they like, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in a Tupperware container, and you're good to go. If you've ever listened to Lake Life with Molly and Chad, they've got a different approach. They put all the fixins in the Tupperware, have, have the bread or the, the whatever you're going to put it on, the wrap, and you make your own while you're on the boat. Both of them work great. If you haven't listened to their podcast, check it out. That's Lake Life with Molly and Chad. They've been on with me here and uh, and are a really fun couple. Twizzlers, if you need a, a sweet snack, the strawberry Twizzlers are great. They're not messy. They don't melt. You can keep them in the cooler. Uh, you can just grab a couple and snack on them, eat them in the water, uh, and very portable. Next, the pinwheel. The pinwheels, I think, are a really nice option because they are going to be a little bit healthy. They're easy to snack. All you do, lay out your tortillas, put on the spread, whether it's cream cheese, uh, whether it's uh, just mayonnaise, uh, whatever you want, put your meat in, your cheese in, your spices, whatever you want, roll it up, and then just cut them into little inch long or so sections. And now you got a quick little finger food that you can snack on throughout the day. Again, put them in Tupperware and you got an easy snack. Next, we've got chips. My girls love to have their chips and our crowd favorite, is the chicken and the biscuit. If you've never had chicken and the biscuits, they are amazing, and you're going to thank me or hate me for them, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but they are delicious. My wife never had them. We put her onto it when we went on the boat one time, and now they are a, a, a crowd favorite on our boat when we're out. Also, the Pringles or the Stacks uh, are great. The other thing I like about those is the container. Once you're done with them, uh, that container is great to reuse for other snacks as well, whether it be the uh, the peanuts and the candies, uh, whether it be pretzel rods, other types of uh, like pretzel sticks, they're just a nice container that doesn't get smashed and they they kind of double duty there drinks you got to stay hydrated when you're out in the sun for us and the kids the capri sun the roaring waters there's no uh, artificial colors so when they spill it and we all know they will <laughs> it's not going to stain your carpet it also has much much less sugar than most other drinks but it's just sweet enough that the kids love them they think it's a great treat containers are easy to throw away and um, they will they will not blow out of the boat super easy watermelon or any kind of fruit we like the watermelon just cut it up into to little chunks a cantaloupe uh honeydew whatever you want we if we're going to be at a place that we're going to pull up on a sandbar or get off the boat we'll even put just cut them into wedges but if we're on a boat and there's nowhere to to pull onto a sandbar where you're going to eat them then we do the do the chunks again eat them on the back of the boat where you can easily wash yourself off Jerky. The beef jerky 
is a, a huge favorite for us. It's a, just a nice snack with some protein. Uh, our family friends that owned a meat store in Nebraska called B.I.G. Meats, Big Meats, and uh, the Hanky family made the best deer jerky. And since I was five years old, we've been eating jerky on the boat, uh, and it's just a, a great snack. If you're a newer boater, check out Boater Boot Camp at BoaterBootCamp.com. It's a totally free program we put together for newer boat owners to learn the things you just don't know you don't know. Next, we've got the vegetables. If you're a little bit more on the healthy side, you can just throw some vegetables in a container, chop them up, whatever you like, and uh, those are a, a great healthy snack as well. I mentioned the pretzel rods. Uh, again, I love the pretzel rods because they're just a quick grab a couple sticks. You can eat them on the back of the boat. They're not going to make a big mess. And again, it's got a great container that you can use for other things in the future, and they're not going to get all smashed up like the chips tend to do if you're just in the bag. Then we've got the almonds and the golden raisins. It's a great little trail mix combo. Um, I, I don't know what it is about the golden raisins and the almonds. That combination, it, it's just really good. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of salt, uh, and that is definitely a, a good, easy one to mix together. Throw them in a Ziploc bag and you're ready to go. Next, we have water. We talked about the Capri Suns, but remember, always put water in the cooler and more than you think you're going to need. If you do happen to get stuck out of the water, the day gets a little longer than you think. Just have a couple of bottles of water and keep yourself nice and hydrated. And then a packing tip. Remember, when you're packing food, it's always going to get wet if you just have it in a Ziploc bag, especially if you're using ice and not ice packs. So put it in a waterproof Tupperware container of some sort. I like to have a drink cooler and a food cooler. Food cooler, they get ice packs. The drink cooler gets actual ice. And then another little tip is I'll freeze a, a water bottle or a, there's actually a, a larger Gatorade bottle that lasts a little bit longer that I'll stick in the cooler as well. So as the ice melts, it keeps that ice or that water ice cold and it makes everything stay colder longer when you're out for a long day. You can even get two or three days out of some packing if I pack it right. Remember that Boater Bootcamp, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it if you found the information valuable. Best boat captain on the water, trailer like a pro. The Boat Buyer Toolkit, and remember, life truly is better on a boat.